this speech. Uh, I'm PC uh, from Oriental DreamWorks. Uh, from yesterday, uh, I, I joined the conference. I found the IP industry or the movie industry in Malaysia grow very fast. So lots of you ask a lot of questions about the, the content creation as far as the licensing part. I'm uh, a licensing guy and what I do is uh, IP monetiza monetization. So um, for me, I think it's quite important that when you develop your IP, you need to consider about the monetization and also licensing at the beginning. So today, I would like to share uh, some experience um, in China so we can learn each other and you can also, yeah, to know about that what we do monetization in uh, Gong Panda 3. So today I'll give you the first, uh, it's just an introduction about the Oriental DreamWorks as well as what our licensing business is doing. And then secondly, I will give you some uh, introduction about our movie joint promotion. Well, the movie joint promotion is a key part to promote your brand. It's just a rely on your partner's uh, healthy media value to promote your brand. And lastly is uh, the retail. That is how to reach your consumer to sell your product. So the first is uh, introduction about the Oriental DreamWorks. These are two founders of uh, this company. This is a joint venture company. So the Western guy called Jeffrey Kaisenberg and the Chinese guy called Li Gong. Li Gong, who also calls uh, Modak in China, He's, uh, he was a government officer. He has a very good relationship with government. And also now he, he was a chairman about the SMG, the Shanghai Media Group. Uh, which are government uh, hold, uh, how say, huge media platform. And now he's a chairman about China Media Capital, which is uh, invest a lot in such media industry. And Jeffrey, second one is Jeffrey. Jeffrey Katzenberg, he was, uh, 20 years ago, he was uh, chairman about Disney Studio. And uh, he set up DreamWorks, DreamWorks Animation, in 20 years ago. And uh, these are the franchise you all well known, like Panda, Shrek, Madagascar Dragon, and also Cruise, uh, Home, and this year we will have a new movie called Trolls. So these two set up this uh, company. And our vision is uh, we want to be a world-class family entertainment company based in China. So we will develop our own movie and now we represent DreamWorks in China, but we will also develop our own movie. So like you guys, uh, I found lots of companies in Malaysia also want to develop your own movie. So the first, we, we have a world-class animation studio based in Shanghai. Uh, we acquired one local uh, animation studio at the beginning, and then we transfer lots of uh, senior guys from DreamWorks Animation to Shanghai to have some uh, management and also leadership business uh, job here. And when we create our content, we also need to distribute this. So in, oh sorry, this is an uh, uh, introduction about our chief uh, creative officer, Melissa Cooper. She, now she's a uh, head of creative in our studio and she also is an uh, executive producer for Gong Panda 3 movie. Uh, the movie she produced now, the total box office is more than 1.8 billion US dollar. So she's quite a professional lady. And I said, when we create the movie, and also when DreamWorks movie come to China, we have uh, leading a top movie distribution and marketing team to distribute this movie in China. So from 2013, our company is set up in 2012, so from 2013, we start to distribute the DreamWorks uh, movie. Uh, this is uh, the, you can see seven uh, movies we have distributed in China. For 2013 and 2014, we are the number one in animation movie box office in China. And this year we are going to distribute Trolls, which is uh, what we uh, released this year. 
And for this company, as I said, this is a joint venture company. So our first milestone is we, ODW, corporate and uh, co-produced Gone Panda 3 with DreamWorks Animation. So this is a co-production movie, and this movie in China will, uh, has been released in January this year, which is uh, Chinese New Year period. Normally that uh, period is uh, not for released for foreign movie. So uh, we have a very successful box office in China. The box office so far is uh, more than 150 million US dollar. So this is uh, our first milestone. So talking about this, so you know that we have a studio, we produce content, and we have distribution team to distribute the content. So the key is for us, for monetization, we call, we have a franchise. Kung Fu Panda is a franchise. So how to transfer or understand what the franchise is working and how to do the licensing business. So our understanding is the franchise we cross the platform, we telling the story through different platforms, through like movie, TV, digital, mobile, game, and to provide, we call the experience to our consumer. The franchise for our understanding is kinds of experience. So when you watch the movie, when you even watch the TV, you have the experience. You just experience, the, you have the same emotion, connection, or feeling experience with your with these characters. So what licensing we want to provide is also we want to provide this experience for your daily work, daily uh, life. That means we, you can use lots of consumer product with also the character experience. So when we do this, the very important sense we call the uh, brand interpretation or the how say recreation of the content or the character. Why we say this? This is a poll from movie. This is uh, we call the CG version or CG style guy. This looks cool and this looks oh the same as uh, movie. But for consumer product guy, we know this is quite difficult to do the consumer product. For example, in the movie, we want to provide high quality. So there are lots of help, lots of in details. So for example, if I put this on my t-shirt, you can see this is quite difficult. It's, uh, you ask for real color, lots of colors, a lot of the, the, the resolution requirement is very high. So it's quite difficult to do that. That's the first. Secondly, for consumers, as I said, they want to have the experience. It's more, how say, some connection, emotion connection. It's not say that I just print pole on my on my T-shirt. That's that's mean experience. No, that 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 is not the experience. So what we do, we recreate the character. This is one style guy for baby panda, because as you. You see the CG guy, this is not good for baby. But this one is very adorable. When parents and mom says, wow, it's so cute, I love it. This one is for kids. So you see, oh, it's so cute. It's not for baby, but for kids. And it also you can see the, the feeling about Paul, the, the face, everything. And this is another style. And also this one looks a little cool and more. So we based on the CG version, we recreate and develop lots of different style guide. Only with this style guide, your licensing business could go. Your consumer product or your licensee could develop their consumer product. So you'll see so many different style guide. And every, each stock guy is targeting for different target uh, audience. So they have their, uh, how say, a requirement and the likeness, everything. Here I can show you for some, how say, product concept or some product image that we developed based on this stock guy. So this is for kids, 
it's not just put the CG picture on the on the closest. And this is for young adult. This is uh, for kids, the full ball. This is for girl. Blue looks very lovely. This is for uh, cookie. This is a Q version. And in China, we also work with the uh, uh, keylog for cereal. So for this, we print the CG version on that. So you can imagine that uh, in the hypermarket, the old rats with the big panda head. So far away, you can see, oh, there's lots of panda there. And this for kitchen bowl for kids. And this is a coffee cup. That's for bedding, for boys. And we also have the design for the teens and young adult. You can see the same one panda can deliver different, how say, uh, feeling about the, for different target audience. This is for stationery, some pen. This is a rubber, it's not a cookie. It looks very cute. And this is a notebook. And then the notebook you can find that all different style. Some is very cute, some is very cool. So it's just based on still the different style guy. This is a USB drive. Also very cute. These are the toys uh, we bought with the Bandai in China. And also the figure. And of course, plush, this is also quite important. So this is uh, some uh, product design uh, share with you guys. So this part is just, as I said, for a content or for a movie or for IP. It's just uh, telling the story. It's just uh, give you some feeling about the character. But that does not mean you can just use this movie or use this picture to do consumer product. You need to, to explain and give more understanding about your IP and recreate to a consumer product useful style guide and then develop your product. So with that, we have lots of good product. Without a port, uh, with a product, that's not enough. But as I said, for your licensee and also for consumer, they need to know that, oh, this panda is coming. Oh, panda is so hot. So for all the movie studio, and even for you guys, we, we are not rich company. We don't want to spend huge money on the promotion about our uh, IP. So what we, what we did is, we work with our partner through movie joint promotion to promote our brand, to promote our movie. Here is our uh, joint promotion partners in China for Gong Panda 3. This one, uh, sorry, this is in Chinese. This is Ili, it's uh, number one dairy company in Asia. And that one, second one is called Kangshifu, it's the uh, number one uh, instant noodles uh, company in China. Because Chinese people like uh, instant noodles. And that is uh, Alibaba, uh, we know. And this is a uh, Huawei owner. Huawei is a mobile phone brand, now it's very uh, aggressive, also international. And then the Ping'an is an uh, insurance company and also a uh, financial company in China. And HP, and that one is uh, really is uh, the TV. Brand. The Nike is a number two uh, game company in China. We license Gong Panda to them for mobile game. And Changlong is uh, uh, Zoo and Sim Park in uh, South China. And that Volkswagen also, as well as uh, Unilever, Omo. So here you can see that we cover different category. Each category we have one key partner. This panda is a number one or number two in their category, in their industry. All this guy, we just uh, one sentence, one word, the rich guy. They have huge media value. And they want to, normally they will spend their money. 
But what we do is we talk with them to provide them the opportunity that Panda is coming. Everyone loves Panda. So why don't you guys use Panda to be the theme of your marketing campaign? So when they do this, all the marketing value will also come to Panda. So what we do is uh, we work with them to develop TV commercial, to do the digital promotion, to print Panda on the package, and also all the outdoor advertising, uh, road show, everything. So what we receive, the benefit is the total media value they spend is more than two billion US dollar, which is bigger than our box office. So this is also a record in China. This for us is quite important because we no need to spend this huge money to promote your own brand. We just rely on them. And for them, they also feel very exciting because they, by working with Gong Panda, they have the chance to be differentiated with their competitor because their competitor is just do, for example, for instant noodles, they just have instant noodles. I either reduce price or just do the same as before, the standard TV commercial. But now, he just provides a different it's with Paul with, uh, with what your fans love. So they also love to do this. Here I can just uh, show you some uh, uh, material, what they did this for instant noodles, this for uh, Ili, this for Yuga. They also work with us for dairy. So here you see we put Panda on the package. For this dairy, uh, during that period, they produce more than two billion pieces about this. So China population, we have 1.3 billion. So here come two billion box uh, of uh, Panda in, in the market. This is a very good way to promote our brand. And this is what we work with uh, Volkswagen. Because Volkswagen has a new car to release the Bora. This is what they did for, uh, through digital uh, platform. This is for Huawei owner. Huawei owner also, they launched a new model, new mobile phone called X5. And then they use Paul as, almost as their celebrity to theme the whole uh, launch uh, campaign. And they even develop a special theme for their mobile phone with Paul. And this is Omo. Omo prints this on the package. And they are, Omo is uh, the typically standard FMCG company. So they are very strong in hypermarket. So we rely on them. We have lots of Paul to appear in such uh, hypermarket, in such a retail channel. And they also do the uh, digital campaign. This is uh, through uh, one digital um, video platform in China called you Youku. This is a China YouTube. So this is what they they done, that they did. This is through uh, Ping An, the insurance and the financial company. They also did a lot through digital. That's because in Chinese New Year, Chinese people want to give some. Uh, uh, how say red pocket and also do some uh, how say uh, uh, congratulations for the new year. So this is through uh, digital to uh, to set. This is for HP. HP also the at that time they launched a new it's a, how say laptop or some yeah product. So also use uh, Panda to send this campaign. This is for nine years. For nice as I said, this is the number two uh, game company in China. So they help us to spend a lot through online. Because they all, all the game fans, they play the game and they just spend a lot of, through online. The last one is uh, Alibaba. Uh, during that period, we work with uh, Alibaba for a very special way to promote Kung Fu Panda. Um, in the same one period, in fact, that is uh, not the peak season for e-commerce because uh, the express uh, delivery guy are all go home 
and uh, people normally just uh, stay at home or go out for travel. They, they don't buy a lot of things. But before that, there's uh, how say a New Year goods festival because Chinese need to buy a lot of New Year product. So they combine Panda with uh, without this program. So what they provide the resources, marketing resources is this one is a flash screen about of their apps. Alibaba in China, this apps they have a subscriber about more than 800 million in China. Of course, not all these are active users, but the total number is, is huge. So on that day, those days, when you open your uh, mobile Taobao or mobile Timo, it just shows this flat screen. And they also theme the app with Paul. They do the, this is an interactive uh, program through APP. And they also do one uh, interesting thing that uh, through apps or through their website, when you search Kung Fu Panda, you click return, then lots of panda dropped. So it's very funny. So everyone, hey, this is fun. So they will, how say, express this, so everyone will love to search panda. So through that, our partners, they contribute a huge media value for us to promote the Kung Panda. Not only for the movie itself, but also to the brand. So, you know that, you see that we have a great product. We have a great marketing to promote that. So the last one is how to deliver the product to our consumer. That is what we call the retail. For Gong Panda, we focus on six areas about the retail side. The e-commerce, the shopping mall, hypermarket, convenience store, fashion store, as well as theater. The first one is uh, e-commerce. As I said, this is the uh, first time Alibaba to do such special program. Uh, like the interactive thing, the, after that, it's about one month's uh, program. After they calculate, it's more than 22 million page view about in interactive. This is uh, a record for them as well. And we, uh, the cooperation with Alibaba is, uh, we work with them to give uh, exclusivity to Alibaba, says so that all this special product developed for Gong Panda will only be sold through Alibaba. And then Alibaba help us to find the right partner because they know which store is a good store, which store has the ability to develop a new product, which store is, uh, how say, fast speed to respond to consumer. So they work with us to find out a lot of good potential licensee that we signed the contract with them and linked it to Alibaba. And then also Alibaba provides a huge uh, media support for that. So finally, we got more than 100 licensee and develop, and this is on, on this is sold more than 1,000 SKU. We, in fact, we develop, we develop more than, I remember it's more than 2,000 or 3,000 SKU, and then finally they select about 1,000. And during that period, the retail sales through Alibaba for Gomu Panda is more than 25 million US dollars. So this is also a record for them. So by working uh, with this uh, project, Alibaba also feels that the IP or the movie monetization is also key for Alibaba. So last week, they just announced a new BU called Alifish, which is a, a special, uh, just a new create BU in Alibaba, just responsible for all the movie joint promotion as well as monetization in Alibaba. And we also announced uh, last week in Beijing that uh, we, Alibaba and ODW, we will cooperate for Trolls, the new movie, this year as well. So this is uh, for e-commerce. And then, uh, in fact, yesterday, uh, some speaker also talking about the shopping mall. Um, <clears throat> I'm not familiar with the uh, Malaysia uh, retail environment, but in China, e-commerce become more and more popular. So the shopping mall now is, is not just for uh, buying some product. 
it become a places that your family or your friends we just are gathering together, especially for family. The the shopping mall is a place to 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 stay with your family, uh, to have uh, lunch or or even have some how say to have a rest. This such place. So we in in same way in Chinese New Year period, we work with uh, fifteen shopping malls across China in about twelve cities. Each shopping mall is a top shopping mall in the city, and we work with them to decorate the whole shopping mall with panda. So this is a shopping mall in Shanghai, the uh, quite big one. When you go there, you see the in front door is a panda, and the inside also lots of panda. So we by working with us, lots of uh, guests or consumers they feel panda is coming, and then by doing that in the shopping mall, we set up a pop up store. So the pop up store we sell Gong Panda product. This is a little like uh, it's still the experience. So when family goes, the went into the shopping mall. They have lots of panda, they even take pictures. So they experience this, then finally, of course, they will buy something to take away. So this is the purpose of the pop-up store. And then in hypermarket, we also work with uh, Walmart, with Artima, uh, across China to do the uh, promotion. Uh, this is in Artima. Artima in China about uh, 240 or 50 stores across China. So uh, during that, this is the same white period. So they also do promotion. So we ask them to use Panda as a theme. So the store is decorated with Panda. And we even work with uh, one uh, e-ticketing website called Gavala. We work with them with Artima. They provide some ticket coupon with ten dollar off, and then in the Artima, you buy Gong for Panda product, you will find just near the product there's a barcode. So you scan five barcode, you will give a coupon for free. This coupon is ten dollar. In China, normally you buy Gong for Panda ticket is about forty to fifty dollar. So we, in fact, we. Use this ten dollar to drive a lot of uh, movie ticket sale, and the feedback for this program is uh, the this told us that more than seventy about the coupon has been redeemed after they get this. So this is a very high redemption rate for such program. And this is for uh, convenience store. Because uh, we work with them, this because uh, Kung Shu Fu has a very good relationship with uh, such a uh, uh, convenience store. So we also decorate the convenience store with a uh, product central display. And this is for fashion store. Um, we work with one uh, fashion store in China called Metas Bangui, which is similar like uh, Benano or how say uh, Giordano in China. It's targeting for young adult. J uh, Joe. Someone maybe know know him. He's quite famous in China, singer. J. Zhou is uh, their celebrity. And J. Zhou is also our world's talent for Gong Panda. And he also uh, developed the, the song for Gong Panda. So we work with uh, Metas Bangui to develop a special clothes for Gong Panda. And J. Zhou was us. And the Metas Bangui have about the uh, 5,000 stores in, across China. See, they, they also do special corner, Gong Panda corner across all the stores in their store, and they use Jeju to promote this. And that one is our um, licensee for um, fashion, for apparel, for Gong Panda. They also do a lot of uh, promotion as well. So that all for the traditional channel. For movie, we cannot uh, lose this channel, theater. So we work with such a, a theater buyer to do a lot of uh, promotion. We also work with some uh, partners in such um, channels that provide all the premium and product through uh, all the theater channel. So you can see that 
for during the movie period, we work with different channels, different retailer, to provide this opportunity that this product could be reached, could reach our consumer, to push for the product sale. And this is what uh, I share with you. And this, in fact, is a case for Gong Panda movie. And uh, you will see that for such promotion, for such retail program, this could be also could be do after movie. In fact, what we are doing now is we will talk with uh, our partners for after movie promotion and also after movie retail program. So this could be duplicate for all the period. And for any IP uh, owner or licensor or even agent, what you need to do is uh, you need to keep this. You need to keep your promotion. You need to keep your any way to make your noise in the market. You cannot just, when you launch the movie, you have lots of noise. But after that, you disappear. Then this is not a franchise. It's just an event. You need to keep this, then your IP will become a franchise. And you will get a sustainable profit from that. Yeah. So this is what uh, my speech. So thank you for your attention.